Hi friends, I've missed you. Some of you might know I've been teaching skiing out at Teton Village. So today I thought I might want to read you one of my favorite songs about learning to ski. This is called Learning to Ski with Mr. McGee and it's by Chris Van Dunson. One winter morning at 6.53, Mr. McGee and his little dog, D woke up to fresh snow and a beautiful sky and decided it's time to give skiing a try. Before we drive all the way up to Mount Snow, follow me, D. I know right where to go. Across from the hill and just up the way is a great little hill with a view of the bay. And we'll practice up there till we learn how to ski, then we'll head for the mountain, said Mr. McGee. A few minutes later, they came to a spot where nothing could get in their way, McGee thought. So he put on his skis, Dee hopped in his pack, and with poles in his hand and his dog on his back, he inched to the edge very slowly until his skis teeter-tottered and started downhill. Not far down the hillside from Mr. McGee, and just out of sight, there happened to be a curious moose. He was out on a search for the succulent sticks of the great northern birch. Then he spotted a tree, the biggest he'd seen, on the opposite side of a gaping ravine. The moose turned around, and what did he see? Mr. McGee and his little dog, Dee. The moose was so shocked, he stood frozen in fear, but Mr. McGee hadn't learned how to steer. And he knew very soon they were going to collide, so he called to the moose, Would you please step aside? But the moose didn't move, so McGee yelled, Duck! And that was the moment they ran out of luck. Because while they were sliding right under the moose, the tips of the skis snagged the log of a spruce. In a flash and a flip, they flew over the log, tossing mi poor Mr. McGee and his dog head over heels straight into the gap. When the end of the skis came down with a slap. So there they were stranded, McGee and his pup, across a ravine a hundred feet up. They hung there suspended, not making a sound. When the moose came back, he looked all around. He didn't see Dee or McGee, but what's this? A bridge to the birch across the abyss. The moose took a step. He was steady and slow, but his weight caused the skis to sag in a bow. And when he looked down, his heart skipped a beat, for Mr. McGee was right under his feet. With a snort, the moose leapt. The skis went spring. They popped in the air with a zip and a zang. And up like a rocket shot Dee and McGee. Landing feet first as safe as could be. Well, that was exciting, said Mr. McGee. But I'm not really sure we learned how to ski. I think I might need a lesson or two. I think that perhaps... It's the best thing to do. And when we get home, he said with a smile, we'll let someone else use the skis for a while. The end.